Morning, everybody. Welcome back to Simlaker Homestead. This here, this is my goat hay feeder, or it will be in about uh, 20 minutes. So I picked this up this morning. Uh, it's an old uh, uh, cage for an IBS tote. I'm going to quickly buzz these corners off and trim the bottom portion off on both of the long sides, bend them together, fasten them, and it should give me a very efficient, cheap way to feed the goats hay that uh, should save hay, it won't get on the ground, uh, it won't get as dirty. So hopefully in the end, we won't waste as much. That's the main goal here. So I'm gonna get at it um, and uh, start to finish. I don't expect this would be a very long project. So you're gonna see the pieces of it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cut these corners out and uh, and uh, cut the bottoms, that's it. <laughs> Okay, like some people, sometimes I get a little carried away. Uh, so I was not supposed to cut this top corner and uh, it's pretty important that it's in place. So now I'm going to show you what to do if you accidentally make the same mistake I did, although I'm hoping if you watch this video, the first thing you'll think when you go to cut is leave that top one alone. So what I'm doing is I unbolted it from the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over and the bottom will now become the top. But since I had to take it off anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that bottom row from the long sides. Since it's already, it just makes it easier when it's facing this direction. Okay, so I'm gonna get that done and then I'll turn around, bolt it back on to the platform, do my corner cuts, finish putting it together. Okay, you do the same thing on this side. And then uh, the only difference though, is I think when I cut this side, I'm gonna leave this just a little bit longer, just in case uh, when I go to put these two parts together, I need something to uh, hook onto. Okay guys, that should be it for the cutting. So now I just gotta put this back in place. I got the bottom fastened back on. It's a little wobbly, but once I get this bent into place, it should uh, make it a little more solid. So I've got some twist tie or zip ties here. Get a couple of those ready. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to zip tie it together or uh, put some self-tapping screws in, but that's why I left that one side a little bit longer. So now what we have to do is bend each side in <laughs> to 
make that V shape. All right, so I thought I would leave that longer and screw it together, but I think in the end I'm going to be further ahead to just zip that flush and then zip tie the, uh, zip tie the bottoms together. So I'm going to go ahead and make those cuts. Okay, so now I'm putting these zip ties on the bottom. These are just, uh, they are outside weatherproof zip ties, so hopefully they'll hold. If not, uh, what I might do is come by after and put uh, just large hose clamps on. Uh, that will also uh, keep it from moving. I might do that anyway. I do have one inside that I might just put in the middle for extra reinforcement, and uh, then I won't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna grab my file, file off any sharp edges, and uh, make sure everything is good and tight. Okay. All right, guys, this is basically it. I haven't decided yet uh, if I'm gonna put some wood on the sides to help hold the hay in but I want to see how this works as it is for now um, so what I did is I filed the sharp edges while the camera was off I did tie each side with some wire just to take away all that play of wobbling back and forth so it's now ready to put in with the goats really excited about giving this a try I've wanted to do this for a while and uh, and now we've finally done it so okay so we're gonna we're gonna bring the camera right back as soon as we get this put in place and uh we'll see if the if the goats approve perfect size Okay guys, there you have it. A quick, easy, uh, well quick if you don't mess up like I did. A quick, easy solution for a hay feeder for goats. Um, as you can see, they are adapting very quickly. So this will hopefully uh, have less waste. Um, the problem we have now is we put their hay in their uh, existing uh, half barrel system that we use and they eat a bit and then eventually it becomes bedding because they just lay down. And of course, at that point, they no longer eat it. It just becomes waste. Uh, this will be more sanitary for them. I still have the option to put a, a cover on top, which I might do yet. Um, but for now, uh, I got I got it, uh, I got a system in place that I've been wanting to get for quite a while now. So anyway, thanks again for coming out, guys, uh, from Sydney and I, and and all the critters and kids here at Simple Laker Homestead. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. If you liked the video, if you learned anything. Uh, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we'll see you next time.